guys, Rico from Test Flight TV. I'm going uh, to show you uh, a little kit I'm going to put together. It's the Racing Knut. It's from a friend in Belgium. He is building uh, these kits by a 3D design and uses a 3D cut hot wire machine to get these kits together. Maybe some of you know already that we built the Electrons, which is a similar uh, way of building those kits, which means it's a styrofoam hot wire uh, kit, which includes also uh, spars and deformers in the way that they are built up with uh, plywood uh, in between these segments. So I'm going to give you details on these kits. Hope you like it. You may subscribe and like and share. So these uh, videos are going to show you how these kits go together and how uh, they are built in detail. First thing I did was I took out the parts of the box, which is the segments on the hot wire uh, foam parts. You see there are three groups all together. You also see that we have the plywood parts for the main uh, forces, which are going to be the wings joined to the fuselage. And you see also beautiful printed 3D parts which also include a clear canopy and the canopy deck. Here you see the rudder, which uh, is basically uh, put together on a balsa. It's a 4 mil balsa, which forms the rudder. And we also have a 4 millimeter elevator, which also includes all the wing tips, which are also milled out of the balsa. The last group is the group of the wings, which is also cut with hot wire. And you see here are the wings inside, which I'm going to show you a little bit later. So let's start the build. If you take a close look, you see that each part has a left and a right side. So you just take these parts out of that foam and start to put them together. So I'm going to take all these groups out and build the left and the right half and yeah you will see how it works You see uh, all the parts are extracted from this first uh, section which means that's the front of the airplane uh, you saw in the picture before how it looks and here you see the extracted parts which means I'm going to uh, glue them together we are using a very easy glue it's called uh, Uhupoa which is uh, very uh, common here in our country and it's used for hobbyist and uh, can be used for styrofoam to glue together. Uh, the good thing is the characteristics are that this uh, glue doesn't eat the foam. So I'm going to show you uh, the tube quick. So this is this little uh, glue we are using for the foam parts and how we put them together I'm going to show you now. So I'm going to start to um, align the parts of the fuselage nose, which means the left and the right. And these uh, segments are going to be glued together. You will get an idea when you see me working on it. You 
can see now the left and the right part of the fuselage, which means you have it uh, the left nose part and the right nose part, and this is going to be assembled with the glue now. Pretty easy. I'm going to put some glue here. Put also some glue on the other side. So what we are going to do is we join the halves so they align nicely on the outside. Later on there is a wooden spar which is like a rail into the fuselage nose which fits here. After I join the halves I take them apart you see that they are a little thin uh, like wires or like you know glue stuff um, it takes like one minute that I leave them so I can do the next part after that I join them together and after one minute they start to stick to each other
you see left and right fuse parts are joined so we will continue with the next part soon.